Welcome to Grade 12 Biology, the Endocrine System Series. Today, it will be a short course on feedback homeostasis. If you have not already done so, um, please visit uh, the Apple Store and uh, Google Play and look for Grade 12 Biology, the Endocrine System Study App. It contains lectures, flashcards, and quizzes related to this unit. It is completely free and it is compatible for your iPhones and your Androids. Um, if you actually want more information pertaining to this app and other free study apps that uh, we are offering, please check out our website in the YouTube description below. Homeostasis. So what is homeostasis exactly? Well, homeostasis is a system with inputs and outputs. Now, it, think of it as it runs a certain um, program within your body where your output gets feeded back into as an input back to your system and it, it will correct itself every single time until a um, optimum balanced is reach so when this when the body reaches a complete balance in terms of hormones it is said to have reached a state of homeostasis as i've said earlier about running a set of programs within your body um, one type of program that runs through your body is something called a negative feedback. So, what is a negative feedback? Well, negative feedback is a mechanism which reduces the stimulus into the system to retire the system back to the original state. It kind of sounds really wordy, but what it really does is that um, the system usually controls different levels of hormones um, by stopping um, releasing of particular hormones, etc. An example is in which the endocrine system normally controls the hormone levels through negative feedback, such as if there is an excessive thyroxine, then the body would stop the process in producing thyroxine such that um, there would be an acceptable val uh, levels of thyroxine within your body. Now, positive feedback is the completely opposite of negative feedback. So, what happened is usually because of a deficiency of something, so that um, it will increase the amount of stimulus or increasing the amount of uh, hormone release into your system in order for it to go back to its original state or to reach back into the state of homeostasis. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. Also, check out our website. Um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.